Sergeant James Ben and TD for Lamford Westmead. Throughout my time as a member of Donald Air, and I have always been a strong, consistent voice in speaking for the people of Lamford. Over the past five years, my office has dealt with over 10,000 representations for the people of Lamford, stretching from mine to Ballymahan, from Lanesburg to Abilara. I have a proven track record in delivering for Lamford. In the last 18 months alone, I ensured that the cash flow difficulties encountered by St Christopher's were fully resolved by the HSE, as a government TD have also played a central role in ensuring Lumford receives a fair share of investment and job creation, and this was realised in the announcement of centre parks coming to Lamford. We have also seen a substantial increase in jobs in Kiernan Milling, Granard, C and D Foods in Edgeworthstown and Green Isle Foods, Lamford, along with 233 extra enterprise Ireland jobs in the last year. We have seen a substantial in new schools for Edgeworthstown, Ballymahan and Stone Park, and extensions for Lanesborough, Drumlish, Temple Michael, Granard, and new libraries for Edgeworthstown and Granard, which will support our young, younger people for generations to come. This is important to Lamford, and I hope after the next election to continue to be delivering for Lamford as a strong government TD. Thank you. Hi, my name is Barbara Smith. I am an independent candidate. I am uh, I'm 48 years of age. I am a mother of three children. Myself and my husband have a small business and uh, we have been keeping our heads above water for the last 20 years regarding business-wise. Um, I am running on the Right to Change platform and Right to Change came from the water movement and it is a set of principles where it, it involves housing, jobs, health, democratic reform, many others, and we have all said that we will work together to create a, a more equal Ireland, a better society, a, a better place for our children to grow up. We have here in Longford particularly been affected by austerity. We have had no jobs investment for the last five years, and I think it's disgraceful that we have to wait for another five years for the likes of Centre Parks to come in. I'm hoping to be a strong, independent voice for what we need here in this county. Thank you. Um, good morning, folks. Um, my name is Connie Garrity Quinn. Um, I am a, a mother, a, a wife, a mother of three children, and a wife to Joe, who's a farmer and an off-farm haulier. Um, my background is in the community and voluntary sector where I presided in the last 16 years over the dissemination of information advice and most especially as an advocate and a mediator in both areas of which I'm a qualified advocate and mediator, um, which I believe is, is a strength coming into politics. Um, I suppose uh, I have seen the anomalies and inconsistencies across the board of how people have been uh, served very poorly by the current government. Uh, by uh, a welfare system that essentially does not provide entitlement to people who have an entitlement, but sometimes to people who don't have an entitlement. Um, I think that at national level there are decisions being made for us, not necessarily for our better good or necessarily on our behalf, essentially. We're being, not being led, we're being driven, and I believe that it's time that we had a voice in Longford okay, to fine. try and secure economic opportunity, jobs and uh, and community development. So I hope to be your voice. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is May Sexton. I'm your independent candidate in the general election. I'm a mother of two and a full-time public representative and I'm also a former TD for Longford with a proven track record of delivery. Over the past five years, I've been dismayed at the inept, ineffective and totally failed representation we've received from our sitting TDs, uh, three of whom are from government parties. Over, under the previous government, all of us have suffered with the imposition of additional taxes like water, USC, property, prescription charges. All of this has happened while services right across the board have been slashed from health, disability, social services. And we've been provided with absolutely no job opportunities or investment to create jobs to keep our young at home. You all know the story. You're living it every day. You have to change this. We have to change this. Longford has to do it for itself. I'm saying Longford deserves better. I'm saying you deserve better. I'm asking you to vote for me in this election. Thank you. Uh, my name is Paul Hogan. I'm a, a elected representative for 12 years. Uh, I have a proven track record uh, of delivery. 
the platform that I'm standing on is also the right to change, uh, and that is you know, the creation of jobs. To me, uh, Longford was left behind by the Celtic Tiger, and it has also been left behind by the so-called recovery. Um, the other issues that I'm standing on is the protection of public services, to tackle the chaos that is in our A&Es and in our hospitals, but also to tackle the housing crisis. Um, there are 4,300 families on the housing list across Longford and Westmead, and what needs to happen is a radical approach to provide the kind of housing, uh, not what we've seen in the Celtic Tiger with unfinished estates, blighting our rural communities particularly and causing uh, problems uh, for service delivery. But what we want to see is adequate housing to cater for all of those who are on the social housing waiting list. And I, I look forward to representing you in Dolly Ernst. Martin. My name is James Morgan. I'm a 44-year-old chartered accountant. I am married with four children and live just outside Longford Town. I'm a qualified chartered accountant. I'm a business and financial consultant with 25 years experience working in Longford, Mullingar and Athlone. I spent five years working in Mullingar. I spent five years working in Athlone and the rest of my career to date in Longford. So of all the candidates, I'm probably best placed to understand the imbalance between the main towns in Longford West Mead. I'm a radically different candidate in that I have no background whatsoever in party politics. I come from a business background on having a very strong track record in attracting business to Longford. Real job creation is going to be at the very centre of my agenda. We need strong representation, not the weak representation we've had for the last five years. Most of you will probably know me from the St. Christopher's March of 2014 when I led uh, a large crowd through the town to uh, object to the cuts that were happening at the time of St. Christopher's and the funding deficit. You'll also know me as the person in 2014 who stood up for Longford in the by-election. I was the only person to run for Longford in that election. We have 18% unemployment to Longford, in okay, Longford, James. and it's just not good enough. We need strong representation. Thank you. Morning. Um, Donald Jackson is my name. I'm a business consultant of some 25 years. Um, I hold um, a degree in aeronautical engineering, a master's degree in marketing, and I've attained a level of MBA. My job as a business consultant, although not a lot of local businesses, um, I look at the stress that's put on business models on an international basis. I look for the beginning of trends with regard to um, need, and I look at the effectivity and efficiency rates of company. And when it comes to talking about employment, um, there are certain <clears throat> foundations that have to be in place before anyone can start even to consider coming to employ major numbers. A lot of that's why you see a lot of the small businesses supporting what's in Ireland. But when we talk later about the employment I can take questions on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mankon McGann is my name. I live in Collinson, Kilishee, but my family is from, is from um, no, I live in <laughs> Collinson, that's me. My family's from Kilishee. So I'm, a, I'm an Irish Times journalist in truth, but the reason I'm running is because I clearly see the potential for Longford and Westmead being this centre of innovation, of sustainable, green, renewable um, business, innovation, energy, every element, with, with true international appeal. So what I'd be looking for is us, as well as, as creating dairy and beef, creating horticulture, using some of this underused land, as a way of tackling flooding to try and put bands of forestry of native woodland that then we can have free range animals roaming through. So what I want is a whole system thing which requires the whole community coming together. This is going to benefit a new form of tourism, of community source, intimate local tourism. These are not quick fixes. This requires the whole community rethinking how can we brand Longford Westmead as an international centre for sustainable, renewable innovation. Hi, good morning, everybody. My name is Gabrielle McFadden. I'm the, currently the uh, sitting Fine Gael TD for Longford Westmead with my colleague James Bannon. Um, I'm married to Brian McLean, a clinical psychologist, and I have two children, two teenage children. Um, so I know the difficulties there. I'm a full-time public rep, uh, and I have been since 2009. I come from a family uh, who believe very much in public service and not self-service. Um, I'm a very hard-working, no-frills, straight-talking politician who, fo who gets focused, is very focused and gets results. 
Uh, obviously, I'm very passionate about women in politics as well, because I think if there were more women in politics, we would have uh, maybe more talk about mental health issues and childcare in, in Leinster House. So I'm very passionate about that, though I'm not in favour of gender quotas. I'm also very passionate about this region, and I am determined to bring the recovery inside every door in Longford and Westmeath. I would challenge James on one thing, and that is that he was not the only candidate who ran in the by-election for Longford. I ran in the by-election for Longford and Westmeath. Um, I look forward to having a conversation with everybody here today if I can, uh, and I'd love your support uh, on, on polling day. Garamila Magad.